Hello oh guys, welcome to our web tutor. I am Sanjay. We are learning Laravel 8 framework tutorial. This is our part number 81. Inside this video, we will see that how can we create custom artisan command in Laravel. Now if I back to terminal, so here inside this terminal, I have opened a Laravel project called device underscore app. This is the same project actually what we are continuing in the last videos. And here is the setup. So if I back to terminal and type the command called php artisan. So first of all, we need to understand that what is a command. So after typing as we can see, after typing php artisan inside this Laravel project, here we are getting multiple commands. This is by default provided by Laravel setup. So here we have available command section. Here we have auth, cache, config and inside this playlist we have several times used about this make section about creating seeder about creating component controller event factory and many more so this is called predefined command palette of laravel and we can access each of the command by typing prefix called php artisan by the help of each artisan command of this list we can create or let's say we can complete a specific task. If we want to create a controller, simply we need to run the command called php artisan and inside this make list we have called make controller. So after running the command called php artisan make, sorry here it is php artisan make controller, after typing a class name, this command will create a new controller class. So what I mean? Each command of this PHP artisan is developed for running a specific task. Now inside this video, we will create a custom command. As we can see here, these are predefined command palettes. Now what we want, we want to add our own custom command inside this list. So if I back to browser, go inside this documentation, if I click here, Go inside here, click on digging deeper and inside here we have a sub menu called artisan console. Now inside this section, we have the complete documentation about operating with artisan console. So here what I will do simply inside this command input output. So before going into the documentation, if I again back to this artisan console, now if you go inside this make section, here we have a command called make command. So when we run the command called php artisan make command, it is going to create a new artisan command. So let's say that first of all, how can we create a artisan command? After that, we will use this documentation. So back to terminal. And one more thing, if I back to editor, go inside this app setup means inside this project setup. Go inside this console. Right now inside this console, we have a single file called kernel.php. So when we will generate any command file by the help of addition command called make command, then a file will be generated and file will be stored inside this console. So let's see how can we generate a command file. So what I will do, php addition Let's open all about the first step that is a help manual. So php artisan help. Let's say make command. If I press enter and here is the help manual of this make command. So after that means after running php artisan make command, we need to pass a name and that is the name of the command. Inside this options list, here we have several options as we can see here. So let's create a simple command called php. First of all, let's clear this console php artisan. Let's say make command. And I will pass the name as let's say user info. So if I press enter, console command created successfully. Back to editor. Go and reload and as you can see that inside this console folder, we have an extra folder called commands and inside this commands folder, here we have a file called userinfo.php. Keep in mind, this is the name actually what we had passed while creating this command. Back to editor, 
Now inside this file we have a skeleton and one more thing these all skeleton are coming from Laravel stub folder already we had discussed inside this playlist. Now inside this user info here we have a signature, here we have a description, we have a construct method as well as we have a handle method. By the help of this handle method when we will execute this custom command what we will create by the help of php artisan then this handle method will be executed. If I back to terminal now again if we go let's clear this console and type php artisan. Now inside this list of commands as we can see that each command has a syntax and its description. So for that if you go inside this file we have a signature signature is nothing this is the signature and here it's a little bit means description and we need to provide description right here inside this protected member variable. So let's say that what I will do inside the signature I will type user and let's say info this is our command and inside this command description let's pass a sort description that is this is the command asks for user information and display. Now when we save all these changes back to terminal let's run here so php artisan pressing enter. Now inside this command palette if we go and find our custom command what we and where we have created. So right here as we can see that according to alphabetically we have the user. So here we have a user section. Right here inside we have a signature called user info what we have passed inside this signature member variable. Here we have a sort description. Sort description is right here coming here as you can see this is the command asked for user information and display. So successfully now we have registered a custom command inside this php artisan list. Now let's say that how can we use this command. So for that if I back to browser go inside this documentation right now we will see a small command that is how can we run and execute our program. In the next video we will see that by the help of this custom command how can we interact with our database. But right now what we want when we run our custom command then it will take a name, email address and after pressing enter it will display all the information what actually we had given inside that command. So here we have inside this documentation we have called command input output. Now this time we are prompting for input so click here. Now inside this handle method as we know inside this command file we have a handle method. So inside this handle method we need to use called this and ask method. So if I copy that let's make some zoom. Now I will copy this command go here get rid of this return 0 and first of all I am asking from user that what is your name. It will give a prompt where user will enter its name and after entering this its name it will go and store inside this variable. Now next also we want to ask for the email address. So next I will copy the same command putting it here but this time we want to store the email address into a different variable. Now inside this let's say what is your email address. Now after taking two inputs from user next we need to display the informations inside console. So for that if I again go, go to its documentation here we have a writing output. So to provide output screen or to message here we have a info method. Apart from info method all other methods also available called line, info, comment and question. Also we have the error method we will discuss in a short while about these methods. Now go here. Now what I will do simply I will copy this info line. Go here. Putting it here. Now inside output screen 
we will show that let's say user informations let's say name I will concatenate with this name variable where we have stored the user input next let's say and email hyphen I will concatenate again with this email variable and these two variables where we have stored the name and email address now if you save all these changes back to terminal clear this console and let's say php artisan and if we type again if you go inside the signature we need to run called user colon info so php artisan user and info so when i press enter as we can see that it is asking for input value that is what is your name so when i pass my name pressing enter again it is asking for the second question that is what is your email address so for now if i put a dummy email pressing enter and here as we can see that inside this output we are getting a message called user informations here we have the name value what we have entered and here we have the email address what we have entered here also one more thing that we are getting into green color and this is because we have used the info method now apart from this info method if we use the other methods what we have available called line so simply if i change info to let's say line save this change again back to terminal run our custom command it is asking for name passing my name email address some dummy value pressing enter and as we can see that the color has been changed also apart from line here we have a error method so if i copy go here and instead of line if i type error go here let's run our custom command asking for name pressing enter asking for email address passing dummy value pressing enter and now the message changed into a error message so this is how about that how can we create a custom command inside php artisan console so in the next video we will see that by the help of this custom command how can we interact with our database so for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day